the full story on the Wendery Cruncher, get over to flystream.com. Okay, um, today we're going to tie the Wendery Cruncher. Uh, this is a variation of an English wet fly pattern. Uh, it's quite common to be used in a team of flies in the UK. Um, and I call it the Wendery because it's particularly effective on my local water, Lake Wendery. But equally, I use this on... Um, on various waters down Tasmania as well, Penstock Lagoon, I use it with an orange tail down there, but don't be afraid to try different colours and different variations. Uh, now in this case I'm using a Hanick H230BL uh, wet fly hook, it's sort of a, a mid-weight sort of hook uh, in a size 12, uh, and I find it's a particularly effective or good shaped hook for this type of fly. So using 8 o tying thread, and what I like to use is a bright yellow uh, cock hackle for my tail. So I'll just pull out some fibres parallel and snap them off. And the trick with this fly is not to overdo the tail. We want it to be about two thirds of the length of the hook shank. Uh, any more than that, and it's sort of a, the yellow tends to just dominate the fly, which we don't want that to be the case. It's, a bit of colour in the fly rather than dominating the fly. I'll just chop off that butt there. All the time with this type of fly we want to be very careful to maintain a nice even underbody here because if we get lumps and bumps in it that'll show up through the final finished fly. We're going to tie in some fine red copper wire. I think they call it small actually which doesn't really work grammatically does it? It should be fine. Um, and pheasant tail. Now I like to find the pheasant tail which is a bit purpley on the edges. Um, I just find that's a quite a pleasing colour and I normally pull out about five fibres. You know, five or six but five is what I'm aiming for and I tie those in by the tip. And again keeping a nice uniform underbody there. Come back forward now I've just got to wind those around. I give them a little twist in my fingers. Can be a little bit fiddly sometimes getting this pheasant tail in. There we go. And lock that off. And then we'll come back with the copper wire in the opposite direction, about five turns, and that's locking in the uh, locking in the pheasant tail. So I've got that there. And just tie that off. Now, with all my wires, I just sort of get them locked in, and then I just break them off. Save your scissors. Then we're going to put in some peacock curl. And again, we'll, we'll tie that in by, by the tip. I'll just cut off the very point bit there. And winding to the back, because we're going to come back through this peacock curl to give it a bit of reinforcing, because it is quite brittle. So we're just building up a plump little thorax there with this single strand of peacock curl. That's about right. Locking off and then coming back down with our thread. We can just snap that off. And then finally we're going to put in a, a collar of grouse. Um, so I've got a grouse wing here. I use the the feathers from the, the base of the wing or you can actually use breast feathers as well and prepare those just by stroking it back and pulling off the fluffy bits. There we have it there and we'll just cut this off at the butt. There, So just leaving a little tag out there. Tie that in. 
Now when we tie this in, this is the probably the only tricky bit of this fly. We just want to make sure we get it so the camber of the feather always faces to the back. We don't want it facing forward. So if we do that, yep, that's going to go right for us. And you get about two to three turns. Lock that off at the back. You can normally just snap that off. They didn't quite snap off there, so break it there. Wind through the feather to the eye and then stroke back your material, your feather here. So stroke that back and then tie in the head. And using that head, that'll tend to, um, you see when I remove my fingers, it, it will tend to cloak around the fly. And you can imagine when that's wet too, they really stream back those fibers uh, and really cloak around the fly. Finish her off. Just picked up a loose fibre there. And just put a little bit of head cement to seal that head off as well. Okay, that's it, the Wendery Cruncher. This film was proudly brought to you by The Fly Fisher in Melbourne and theflyfisher.com.au where you'll find everything to tie the Wendery Cruncher and a whole lot more.